be fearful when everybody is greedy and be greedy when everybody is fearful and this is also true for stock market investing. Don't you think it might be a good idea to explore the options of incorporating defensive stocks into your portfolio which could provide you with downside protection in the event of market crash or correction. In this video, I'll explain what are defensive stocks, why we need to have them in our portfolio, their benefits and drawbacks, and how you can benefit from all this. Hi, my name is Sunny, and I make videos that affect a common man financially. If you're new to this channel, please smash that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm and it will be highly appreciated. These are the shares of companies that have consistent demand for their product or services, a consistent dividend paying history and stable earnings regardless of the state of the stock market. Because these tend to be more stable during turbulent business cycles, they are also referred to as non-cyclical stocks. They should not be confused with defense stocks which are companies that manufacture defense or military related equipment for our defense forces. Regardless of the economic or market downturn, these are the type of companies where investors frequently try to put in their investments what are known as safe haven stocks. These are considered to be more secure or defensive options. Such stocks are frequently perceived to fall less than their comparable growth stocks as they are more stable or less volatile. There is no such thing as 100% safe investment in stock market or investments in general. The potential return on any investment is dependent on the level of risk you are willing to accept. As an example, the US Treasury bill which is considered as the safest investment typically provides a low rate of return whereas a growth stock may provide a higher rate of return but that comes with a higher risk. During the time of economic or market downturn, such defensive stocks are relatively regarded as safe investments and are typically purchased as hedge against such events in your portfolio. Some of the most popular growth stocks in the US market are pointing towards an economic slowdown. The price to earning ratio appears to be very high for the market as a whole as well as for some of the hottest growth stocks right now. Michael Burry, who successfully predicted 2008 US housing meltdown, believes the market is overpriced as well. His conviction is so strong that he has shorted some of the biggest growth stocks such as Tesla and recently ARK Invest flagship ETF which has heavy exposure to these new generation growth stocks despite the fact that majority of investors are bullish right now. Only time will tell if he's correct about the timing, but experts believe that there may be too much froth in some of these growth stocks. When compared to growth stocks, defensive stocks provide a significant benefit of a similar long-term gains with lower risk. These stocks are known to have higher return on investment as compared to the risk, which is an important factor to consider when investing in stocks. As a result, if you take less risk, your potential losses during the market downturn will be lower, but you can still earn a good return on your investment. Do you think it's a preposition worth looking into? Some of the smart money has already begun to move into these defensive stocks where they hope to earn decent returns with a lower downroad risk in event of a crash or correction as opposed to growth stocks. Another school of thought is that holding a defensive stocks is better than holding onto cash. Warren Buffett has become an investing legend as he has used such defensive stocks from time to time to beat the market while limiting his losses during the market crashes. The main disadvantage of including too much defensive stocks in your portfolio is that that may result in lower profits during a bull market. It is extremely difficult to forecast market swings. As a result, if you have a larger portion of your portfolio invested in defensive stocks, you may feel left out in a rising stock market and more important, you will feel frustrated that may lead you to take risky investment decisions. One thing is certain in stock market investing, 
timing the market can be extremely difficult. Surely some people like Michael Burry have successfully timed the market, but they are the exception rather than the rule. You can spot trends and analyze indicators in the stock market, allowing you to build a diversified portfolio based on your risk tolerance. Having some defensive stocks in your portfolio will certainly limit your growth potential, but it will provide some protection in the falling market. Utility companies, consumer staples, good fundamental healthcare stocks, apartment REITs, and so on are examples of defensive stocks. It is always a good idea to conduct your own research and select companies with good, solid fundamentals, a decent track record of growth and dividend so that when the stock markets are volatile, you can weather it better than a pure growth portfolio. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a pure growth portfolio, but as the saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to risk management. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing. In my humble opinion, investing is taking an informed decision based on your own personal financial goals and risk tolerance. And most important, you should be able to sleep well at night during good as well as bad days in the market. This is my take on the topic thinking defensive stocks. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the next video on your own channel, Sunny Snippets.